Hi everyone. Today we want to show you how Galaxy AI enhances your everyday life. Like pushing your limits with Galaxy Watch Ultra. Or improving your wellness with the Galaxy Watch 7. Or a whole new sound experience with the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. Really? They're going to make your life so much better. Mm -hmm. Enough talking. Let's get into it. Hey, you finally got the Galaxy Watch Ultra. Yeah, still super new though. I've got lots to explore. Oh, you're gonna love it. Samsung Health with Galaxy AI has me looking at workouts in a whole new way. Yeah? How? Well, first thing you need to check out is energy score. It's like a snapshot of your energy level for the day. Your watch can monitor all kinds of data from your body. Then it gives you one simple number. So you can plan your workouts based on that score. Got it, so if your score is low, you focus on rest and recovery. Right, and if your score is high, it's okay to push yourself. And there's this thing called personalized heart rate zones. Personalized? Well, everyone's heart rate is a little different. It learns yours, then gives you five different zones to work out in. If you want a light workout, you pick zone one or two. And if you want to push yourself, you'd go for zone five. And your watch helps you stay in the zone during your workout. You can always check whether your heart rate stayed in the target zone. And if you're into cycling like me, it even tracks functional threshold power. FTP is the max amount of power you can keep up on a bike for one hour. That sounds complicated. Normally, you need a professional to set it up. But it's easy with this. All you need is your watch, your phone, and a power meter. And it only takes four minutes. It's super rugged too. This thing can go anywhere. I've worn it in the ocean, took it up to the mountains, even worn it in the snow. What's this button all about? That's the quick button. You can customize it so the features you use the most are right there. Cool. How do I set it up? Swipe down and tap settings. Swipe up and choose buttons and gestures. Then tap action to customize it. Let's say if you want it for exercising. Tap Samsung Health. There are many exercises you can map it to. Let's try running. Check if the settings are what you want and you're done. Press it once to start or pause a workout. Double press to log your last lap or start the next session. And long press to end the workout. Oh, by the way, how long does the battery last? It can last 48 hours in exercise power saving mode. It's a way of saving power even while you're being active. You just open Samsung Health and tap exercise. Then find the settings button under the exercise bubbles. Swipe up and you'll find exercise power saving at the bottom. Tap to turn it on. On regular power saving mode, it can last up to 100 hours. Oh, wow. <laughs> and check this out. If you run into trouble out there, hold the quick button for five seconds to activate emergency siren. It's loud enough to hear 180 meters away. After 10 seconds, the emergency SOS option shows up. So you can use it to call emergency services. That's helpful. Hey, it's Sophia. The girls want to get dinner tonight. Sure. By the way, check out Suggested Replies. It uses Galaxy AI to generate reply options that fit naturally in your conversation. So you can reply without interrupting your workout. Wait, that actually sounds like you. I know, pretty cool, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yo, we gotta get to class. Guys said yes to dinner. Any preferences? Whatever you guys want. You okay, yeah? I haven't been sleeping very well. You should start tracking your sleep. Use your Galaxy Watch 7. Yeah. I just got it though, so I don't really know how to do that. It's easy. Open Samsung Health in your watch. Go to Settings. And tap Sleep. Then turn on everything you wanted to track, like blood oxygen, skin temperature, snore detection. You can start seeing your sleep insights tomorrow morning. 12 minutes of snoring? A lot of people snore without knowing it. Same with something more serious like sleep apnea. Most cases don't get diagnosed, but this watch can help detect it early. You just download the Samsung Health Monitor app. My dad didn't even know he had sleep apnea until the watch alerted him. Went to the doctor and got it all sorted out. Impressive. You know what else is impressive? You can track your body composition right on your watch. So here, tap measure and enter your weight. Then, Place your middle and ring fingers on the keys right here and hold for 15 seconds. 
and it'll tell your body fat and muscle mass right away. That quick? That quick. And it can track your AGEs. What are AGEs? Advanced glycation end products. It sounds complicated. Samsung Health makes it simple. Basically, AGEs are created when you eat refined carbs or processed foods. If you eat too many, your AGEs go up. So, when did you switch to pre-med? <laughs> no, that's the point. You don't have to be an expert. Your watch does it all for you. And I bet you didn't know it can measure your blood pressure. Really? Yeah. Just open the Samsung Health Monitor app, then sit still, and it will measure your blood pressure. You only need to calibrate your watch once every four weeks to keep measuring your blood pressure accurately. Mm. Oh, and this watch can monitor your heartbeat too. If it detects an irregular heart rhythm, it gives you an alert to take an ECG. To take one, go to the Samsung Health Monitor app, tap ECG, make sure you're wearing your watch on your left wrist. Then, place your index finger on the home button right here. It'll start tracking your heartbeat and show you the results right away. That's super useful. Oh, we gotta go to class. Mm. Oh, I took your recommendation. You got the Galaxy Bus 3 Pro. How do you like them? I love them. I love the fit too. Like these were made for my ear. <laughs> right? They actually created these using a computational design tool. So they took thousands of data points from different ears, then analyzed them and simulated wearability to get a more comfortable fit. And they come in two different styles. Buds 3 Pro is a canal type, and Buds 3 is an open type without the ear tip. They support ultra high quality audio, so you can hear the sound as it was intended from the recording studio. Hmm. Buds 3 Pro has enhanced two-way speakers and a dual amp. So you get deeper bass and crisper highs. <laughs> You're such a sound geek. We're not even done yet. Galaxy AI detects sound leakage based on how they fit in your ear, so the sound is always consistent. And you can pick different noise control settings based on your preference. Ambient sound, ANC, and adaptive noise control. What's adaptive noise control? It uses Galaxy AI to detect noises around you, then automatically adjust the noise levels. Nice. Say you're walking past a noisy area. Your buds use their mics in Galaxy AI to turn up the ANC levels and actively tone down the noise. Or if you go somewhere quiet, the noise cancelling levels will go down to match your surroundings. Cool. And this is even cooler. If your buds detect a siren or you start speaking, they'll switch to full ambient so you can hear what you need to. That's amazing. I know. Let's set it up. To turn them on, go to settings and tap auto switch to ambient sound. Then tap to turn on voice detect and siren detect. Oh, that's super smart. I know. Come on, I'll show you more. So, to adjust the volume, just swipe up and down. Handy. And there's also pinch and hold gestures for switching modes and opening apps. Go into earbud controls. And you can set the pinch and hold gestures to open different apps using the left and right buds. Let's set the left one to interpreter. You just pinch and hold to open the app. You can use interpreter with these? Yeah. Want to try? Sure. Commençons. Entends-tu la différence? Let's get started. Do you hear the difference? Very cool. <laughs> Did you guys really just run here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, new personal record. Wow. Hey. <laughs> Are you